Hey, you're looking good today. This is Frank in the Brazil Times newsroom, and here's what's new. Mayor Brian Windham proclaimed March 12 as uh, the beginning of uh, Girl Scout Week in the city of Brazil. He uh, gave this proclamation yesterday at City Hall, whereas March 12th marks the 105th anniversary of Girl Scouts of the USA, founded by Juliet Gordon Law in, uh, or Lowe, excuse me, in 1912 in Savannah, Georgia. And whereas throughout its distinguished history, Girl Scouting has inspired millions of girls and women with the highest ideals of courage, confidence, and character. And whereas through the Girl Scout leadership experience, girls develop the lessons and skills that will serve them a lifetime so they may contribute to their communities. And whereas Girl Scouting takes an active role in increasing girls' awareness of the opportunities available to them today in math, science, sports, technology, and other fields that can expand their horizons, and whereas more than 2 million current Girl Scout members nationwide will be celebrating 105 years of this American tradition with nearly 50 million women who are former Girl Scouts and living proof of the impact of this amazing movement, and uh, the mayor went on to say, I, therefore, Brian Windham, by virtue of the authority vested in me as mayor of the city of Brazil, do hereby applaud the commitment Girl Scouting has made to support the leadership development of America's girls and proudly proclaim the week of March 12 as Girl Scout Week. And on hand uh, for the celebration and the uh, announcement was Van Buren Girl Scout Troop number 2246, and our hats are off to the leaders, uh, Melanie Brunette and Christy Eisen. And they had just about all of the girls there. Hey, Earl Hutchison's here. Good morning, Earl. Good to see you today. And let's see, what else do we have going on? Well, we have uh, this information about Schoolhouse Rock. You remember Schoolhouse Rock? You know, I was, uh, I was too old for Schoolhouse Rock, but I still enjoyed the music uh, when it would come on on Saturdays. And uh, let's see here, get this information for you. Tom, a nerve-wracked school teacher, nervous about his first day of teaching, tries to relax by watching TV when various characters representing facets of his personality emerge from the television and show him how to win his students over with imagination and music through such beloved schoolhouse rock songs as Just a Bill. Remember that one? I'm just a bill. And he, the bill goes on to become a law sometimes. Lolly, lolly, lolly. I didn't remember that one. And Conjunction Junction. And, uh, of course, that was an, an English lesson song. Anyway, these songs from your childhood come to life in the Northview Auditorium uh, tonight at 7 p.m. It was last night and tonight at 7 no, it's, it's not right. Tonight and tomorrow night, Thursday and Friday at 7 p.m. at uh, Northview High School presents the spring musical Schoolhouse Rock Live. And uh, tickets are $8 for adults, $5 for students, ages K through 12. Seating is reserved, and you can purchase uh, those tickets uh, by calling 448-2661, extension 1261, to reserve your seats. And if I went through that too quick, just back up a little bit and uh, you can uh, you can g catch that number. Terry Casters joined us. Glad to see you today, Terry, as well. So, Schoolhouse Rock Lives, and uh, there's a picture of the whole cast and uh, the uh, sponsors on our website. So, uh, check that out. Bunch of good-looking kids from uh, Northview High School. Also in the news, uh, the Clay City Police Department has obtained a grant that will upgrade the communications equipment in the town's two police vehicles. That, according to Clay City Town Marshal Terry Skaggs, he told that to the uh, town council on Tuesday. The state, county, and everybody are switching over to electronic citations, warnings, and accident reports, Skaggs told us after the meeting. It saves time and is safer on the roadway, and you can learn more about that. He does, uh, he does want us to tell you, though, that he is not going to be writing more tickets, no additional tickets at Clay City, but the department will be a lot more efficient because of that. The town of Clay City will have to pay back taxes on its water utility to the tune of a guesstimated $27,000, 
Attorney Chris Gamble told the town council Tuesday night. In 2008, the town stopped paying the utilities receipt tax to the Indiana Department of Revenue, and now the state says we want our money. So uh, you can read all about that in uh, today's edition, well, online, and in tomorrow's edition of the Brazil Times. And the public is invited for Senior Bingo the last Wednesday of each month at 2 p.m. at Town Park Assisted Living at 503 South Murphy Avenue. And uh, that's going to be at the Exceptional Living... It's going to be at Town Park, but that building is in front of Exceptional Living Center Brazil. The bingo and the snacks are free, and there will be many prizes. Pink Incorporated. Pink has celebrated their fourth year of helping breast cancer patients and their families and caregivers through their Cancer Companion Program. Pink serves 11 contiguous counties, including Clay County. And you want to know what Pink is? This might come up on Trivial Pursuit if you still play that game. Pink is an acronym for Passion, Initiative, Need, and Knowledge. So, now we know. And uh, I hope you have an outstanding day. Congratulations to the Girl Scouts. And uh, uh, 105 years. That is, that is a tremendous record for Girl Scouts. I'm Frank Phillips in the Brazil Times Newsroom. Until we meet face-to-face, -face, I'll look forward to seeing you again. Have a great day.